In this module, we're going to be exploring future studies. So looking at how to make research-based predictions about what may occur into the future. And in particular, we look at what may occur in relation to educational technologies. So part of this involves looking at educational technology trends, which is what we're going to be discussing in this session. But of course, you are also going to be doing your next portfolio item which is to conduct your own future study, a small one. And in this, you're going to look at various data that you've got access to, make trends or find patterns in that data that you can um, establish as trends, extrapolate those trends into the future, and generate some scenarios about what may happen in the future in relation to education as a result of the educational technology that you are exploring. So that's what you're going to be doing for your next portfolio item, your next little research study. But to prepare for that, you need to have a bit more understanding about futures thinking and futures research. Now, futures thinking is taking the attitude that there are multiple possible futures, that the future isn't fixed, that there may be better futures and worse futures, and also the most likely future. And part of futures research is to identify what is that most likely um, outcome, but also to explore what might be possible in terms of the best possible outcome, so that we can try and guide the future towards that particular outcome. But also sometimes we look at what is possibly the worst possible outcome, so that we can try to ensure that that doesn't occur. Global warming is an example of that. So there are a range of techniques we use in futures research and futures thinking and studies that assist us in doing these processes. But the first aspect is to understand that there are multiple possible futures and that we have agency over deciding about which of those futures will come about. Now, from a research perspective, we try to provide informed understanding of um, what may occur and what could occur so that policy makers and those with decision making capacity can enact decisions that will lead to ideally a better future occurring. So the first thing we need to be able to do is to think from a different perspective. If we're going to try to um, have the best possible future occur, then you want to make sure that, that is a really good future. Now, some techniques for doing that are uh, moonshot thinking, where we try to think beyond what our expectations might be about what we're used to seeing occur to what might possibly be able to be achieved if we really think outside the box and really think about what could happen if everything fell into place and made a, an ideal future come about. Another approach is to look at what's called X-thinking. This is where we try to solve problems or identify what might have happened, but not just a small change, but what would happen if it was a really big change. This is called 10x, 100x, 1000x thinking. So we don't just try to think what would happen if we made cars um, twice as small or half the size as they are now or half as um, costly in fuel. What would happen if we made cars a thousand times less costly in fuel. How would that change the world? In terms of education, if we made the process of learning not just twice as efficient, what if we made it a thousand times as efficient through the use of some sort of educational technology? How might that change education as we know it if that could be achieved? So this is trying to aim for really big audacious um, goals that would literally change the world if we can bring them about. So in um, teams, what I'd like you to do is try to think of an X challenge or an X idea or an X solution. What could come about that would really change the world for the better in terms of education? And share that onto teams.